Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. This is Sven and today uh, we're going to try to complete uh, Sector 6. I'm saying try to complete because last times it took me a little longer uh, to successfully complete these tasks. But I'm confident that I'm able to make one task at least uh, in this one episode. should be possible. So let's see what we have we got here. We get an input of type string that we are supposed to return a string and from what I see from the output it's basically just string concatenated with the string. Let's see what it thinks of that and it turns out it's not just the concatenation of the same string but it's the reverse concatenation. Is there a string reverse? function. I'm not sure, probably not. There is one in Java 8, but at least it's not mapped here, so we have to do the uh, the reversion uh, manually, which we can of course do uh, with the Java array as as chars as to char array. So we have the string as a char array and we take a second, no we don't even need one, uh, so we need a string, a string s reversed is the empty string and then we go over uh, char c s s chars and just append to s reversed the next Oh no, we have to go there backwards, of course. So we can't do it, this in a normal style. Um, and for each loop, but we have to go through here manually and say, okay, this is s is just a length. This is uh, i. Um, let's do it like that. I bigger than bigger or equal to zero i minus minus and then we're appending to s reversed um, the character at the respective position i and then this is plus uh, reversed so let's see if that solves the task. If I get the index indices right, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, it works, but the skill rating is rather bad. So I'm going to keep trying to improve this a little. I had a thought in the meantime that of course I can do this with a normal with a normal for each um, as uh, no, let's call it C with s as chars and then instead of appending this I can just prepend it uh, to s reversed this should be possible let's see um, if this gives us i oh, doesn't exist that's okay because it's supposed to be c um, let's see if this gives us a little better skill rating but in fact it does not so I have to find a way to express this uh, still shorter one thing I can think of is as far as I know there's a reverse method on string builder I think so if I put in string builder with a uh, with a string say reverse and then a two string I don't need so this is a string builder sp and then I can just append the string builder but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to use string builder in these programs apparently I'm allowed to use it but it still does not give me the full skill rating which makes me really curious because this is already quite short I could inline this variable maybe this makes it 
even shorter although we could discuss if that makes sense or not and in fact this gives me an additional skill point not having this variable around but still it does not give me the full skill points for this task this is really strange because I don't have any idea right now how to make this even shorter and in fact I don't even have an idea how I could do this shorter in a C sharp program but interestingly enough if I see what he makes out of my string builder I'm not surprised anymore that this does not give me the full skill pointing points because the translation from the string builder is in fact very ugly um, so probably if I try uh, something similar in C sharp say new string s to char array exists as far as I know arrays have a reverse function which returns an enumeration which I have to turn into an array again um, in order to give it to the string constructor I thought there's a reverse method ah, okay um, the reverse there's no overlord with zero arguments reverse is probably this static one which allows me to reorder an array but if I use system.link I guess there should be a reverse method that does the job for us somewhere it is uh, yes there it was and for the not so strangely translated solution we actually get the full skill rating but I mean as you can see this is the same approach as I implemented before in Java only that the translation from Java to C sharp gives me something lengthy that does not receive the full skill rating anyways if you have any ideas how to implement a solution in Java that actually gives gets the full skill rating let me know I would be interested in that so far so good um, with this I conclude sector 6 about strings. I'm going to continue with sector 7 in the next uh, episode of Let's Develop uh, Code Hunt. And yes, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter. And uh, also have a look at the other contents I'm producing Let's Develop With, which is currently focusing on Maven and Eclipse, or Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life which is about test-driven development and development life and uh, development style in general. Uh, yeah, and so have a nice day and hope to see you in the next episodes.